Hello everyone, today let's learn about bicep modules. Bicep modules enables you to break down a complex solution into smaller subcomponents. This will improve the readability and reuse of modules. As you can see, I have a simple deployment. I call it my deployment.bicep and it is a storage account as you can see. And let's go to the, the next file and that is a PowerShell file. This will create this resource group and then this will deploy this bicep file so let's try to run it and see what happens so i'm going to copy it and paste it here all right just created a resource group now let's go to azure portal and see the resources i have just created so i'm going into the uh, this uh, the resource group and i'm refreshing it yeah as you can see i have created a storage account now let me switch back to my Visual Studio code and let's try to create a module. So what I can do is I can just create another file. I'm going to call it storage.bicep. And I'm going to move all this code here into this file. It's just that simple. And what I can do is I can just add inputs and outputs to this module it's, it's just like calling another function when you do programming you can have inputs and you can get outputs from it so it's not different much from that so what i can do is i can just define these parameters um, i'm going to get two parameters this is storage account name um, and i'm going to get the location as well Going to be another string and you can add these uh, these constraints like min length and um, and max length and things like that to filter out the uh, to get the correct input for these um, parameters so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this with these parameters i just created in addition to these parameters these inputs you can have outputs as well this is how you define those outputs so you can just have this output keyword and then you can name it and call it storage point it's going to be an object i want to reference this um storage account here like this Got access properties and primary endpoints so this will be the output of this module what i'm going to do next is reference this in my main deployment file now what i can do is i can just um, reference it so i'm gonna give a symbolic name i'm gonna call it storage module here yeah, like this and as you can see i'm getting the intelligence for the file that i've just created and it's really helpful when you work with bicep files so i'm gonna name it i'm gonna call it and then the parameters that I have declared here. So let's see. Let's see. If I press Control and Space, I'm seeing the parameters. I'm going to call it um, demo, and then the location. I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to give ETS here. And as you can see, I have just invoked this module. Also, I can read the outputs as well. This is how you do it. I can just type in. This storage module and if I access the outputs here as you can see I'm getting the intelligence of um, the outputs that I have declared here so let me save it these commas we don't do it in uh, bicep all right let's change the name a little bit so that we can identify that we have deployed with this module and uh, let's try to run this again and as you can see I am passing in this complete mode for creating this and because of this all my resources of this resource group will be removed so now as you can see i have just deployed the new um, bicep file so let's go to my azure portal and see what happened so if i refresh this yeah as you can see i have created another resource using modules in this video we will learn about parameters and modules if you have any questions or comments, you can leave down below. And if you want to be updated with what I'm doing, you can subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.